Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. I've got something really different today. I'm out at uh, Paul and Lorna Graham's at their antique equipment. Mostly farm equipment, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. And I'm here with Paul. How are you, Paul? Very good, and yourself? Great. Paul's got some really unique tractors here. Paul, why don't you tell us about a couple? Mm -hmm. this, uh, this mini Moline was built by Avery and uh, it's one of very, very few that's known to exist. When I went uh, to put this tractor together, I tried to find another one that I could compare how this one was going to look, and I couldn't find another tractor the same as that. It was built by Avery for Mini Moline for two years, 53 and 54. This tractor here is a Silver King, uh, three-wheel Silver King, and there's not very many of them around at all. Uh, there's a few, but not many. This is a, a Graham Bradley narrow front end, and uh, there's less than probably 70 of these tractors around. The next one here is a Graham Bradley standard. Uh, it, there's less than 25 of those tractors around the world. Uh, we're fortunate to have them and been able to get them running and fixed up where they look something close to new. Thank you. They look really good, Paul, really good. Paul has quite a collection of tractors, but then he's got these hit and miss motors. He's got a bunch of them. This one's running a, uh, looks like a scroll saw. All made out of wood. And I don't know what this one's doing. Paul has collected this stuff far and wide and uh, has it on display today. Paul has a 42 Silver King. I don't know much about the Silver Kings. He has tractors lined on the driveway here, all the way to the road. He has a couple of these Leroy's, 1949 and a 1952. We get closer to the road, we'll see more green paint. Here's some green paint right here, a little different shade. Oliver. 77 48 to 54 54 was a good year that's when i was born <laughs> another leroy here's an old john deere industrial it come out of iowa i believe or yeah iowa iowa state Could you imagine trying to build a road with something like that? Man, take forever. Gibson, 47. One for a plow, mechanical lift. Here's a case. I remember a neighbor used to say, you buy a case, you have a case. It's a John Deere 40. Two-cylinder. Might go putt-putt. Oh, we're getting into the green. Here's another Oliver. And a 520 John Deere. Thirty-three horsepower. There's lawnmowers that big now. Mini Mo. Nineteen sixty. It's got a John Deere AR. This belonged to Paul's father, so it didn't fall far. Got nice rubber on her though. Nice rubber. Got a Massey Harris Mustang 23 
replaced the 22. I thought it was a 22 when I first saw it, but it replaced the 22. 27 horsepower. Here's a John Deere R. This was an old workhorse. <clears throat> Lots of them around. He's got an 830 diesel. Well, you've got lots of tractors, Paul. Thank you. Good to see this 5010. Yeah. Where'd it come from? I bought it out of Rayburn sale on seven skids of parts. I heard it was a parts tractor. It is. <laughs> this uh, this would be a big girl when she was new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of those tractors were repowered. Kinsey repowered most of those tractors with Detroit's and Cummins's. The 531 engine in those tractors aren't very good. Probably one of like that's the first series of six cylinder engines that John Deere built. Yep. And they had to learn a bit. Yeah, they didn't build tens for a whole long time, just two no, no. two years. You're right, you're right. Then they went to the twenty series, they made a lot of updates. Yeah, and the twenty series was a far better tractor than the ten series. But that's one of the few fifty tens. It is original. It's oh, it hasn't been repowered. Yeah, it hasn't been repowered and that sort of thing. Yep, well, you've got quite a show here. Thank you, Dennis. Anyway, I was glad I could come. Oh, glad to have you. Yep, see ya. Anytime, Dennis. And that's about going to do it for today. I just thought I would take a few minutes and drop out and see this I want to if you enjoyed this uh, hey give us a like and if you haven't subscribed now would be a good time and uh, anyway thanks for watching I'll catch you on the next one